what happened last weekend with the uh, statue of John A. McDonald is unacceptable. And the uh, statue will be restored and re-put in place. And it's unacceptable in a democracy. Of course, we uh, need to fight against racism, but that's not the way to do it. We have to respect uh, the history. I was deeply disappointed uh, by the vandalism that took place uh, over the weekend. Uh, I understand the impatience, the frustration of Canadians who faced systemic discrimination and racism uh, throughout their lives. We can try to change for a different future and maybe acknowledge the past of why he might have not been the best, but was still our Prime Minister. S'il faut qu'on know tous les gens si on fait quelque chose de pas correct, on disparaîtra nous aussi, hein? Alexa Lavoie for Ribbon News, and I'm currently at the Park Canada Place in Montreal in front of the Bonaventure Metro Station, where I am now. It is the place where previously in 2020, the statue of the very first Prime Minister of Canada, Sir John A. Macdonald, stood. On August 29, 2020, a demonstration involving defunding the police activists unraveled the statue of John A. Macdonald. <laughs> Many politicians condemn this action, including Justin Trudeau. I was deeply disappointed uh, by the vandalism that took place uh, over the weekend. Valérie Plan, mayor of Montreal, wrote in a tweet, and I quote, some historic moment here and elsewhere are at the heart of emotional debate. I repeat that I prefer to put them in context rather than withdraw them, yet, the Montreal Recognition Framework decided otherwise. The framework is also part of the City of Montreal 2020 and 2025 strategy for reconciliation with Indigenous people. So you will understand the rest of the story that is coming up. Mr. Legault also condemned these actions during a press conference. Have a look. What happened last weekend with the uh, statue of John A. McDonald is unacceptable. And the uh, statue will be restored and re-put in place. And it's unacceptable in a democracy. Following the event in Montreal, even the former premier of Alberta, Jason Kenney, tweeted, Many of those on the extreme left responsible for this kind of violence claim that Canada is an illegitimate state, all the while enjoying Canada's right, freedom, privilege and prosperity. None of those things were created by accident. They come from the vision and sacrifice. And he went on to say, if the city of Montreal decided to not to restore Wade's statue of McDonald to where it has stood for 125 years, we would be happy to receive it for installation on the ground of Alberta legislature. Today, Mr. Jason Kenney is no longer in charge of Alberta in order to implement this decision. But Will the new Premier Daniel Smith dare to keep the agreement that Jason Kenney say? Several other events occurred against the statue of John A. Macdonald placed in various cities in different Canadian provinces. In all, 11 statues are found in Canada, including seven in the province of Ontario. It all began in 2013, when in Kingstown, Ontario, the statue of John A. Macdonald was vandalized in what would have been its 198th anniversary. The statue in Kingston Park was sprayed with red paint and the words 
this is a stolen land, murderer and colonizer were inscribed on the base of the statue. This continued to 2018 in British Columbia. The Victoria City Council agreed to remove the statue of Sir John A. Macdonald from its pedestal and to store the statue for an indefinite period of time. The statue took place at Victoria City Hall and this action was carried out as a gesture of reconciliation towards indigenous people. Yet, Sylvia Jones from then on had opened the harm of the province of Ontario in order to receive the statue of the BC and to offer it a new home. Bonnie McDonald plays a central role in our national story. He did more to found our nation than any other father of Confederation. And in fact, we would not be debating here today without Sir John A. That's why our government wrote to the Mayor of Victoria to say we'd be happy to give Sir John A. a new home here in Ontario. On August 31, 2020, the city of Toronto decided to pack the statue of John A. Macdonald in Queen's Park with a black bag and wrap it in a wooden box to avoid the risk of vandalism. Despite this, Sun News reported that the statue had already been vandalized with pink paint on July 18. Even today, this wooden tomb still lies in the park, hidden from the eyes of all. Yet, in 2018, when British Columbia decided to remove the statue of Mr. McDonald, Buck Ford, Premier of Ontario, proudly displayed the idea of repatriating the statue to give it a new home in the province. I quote what he had written to date. Sir John A. Macdonald played a central role in our national story. As one of the father of Confederation, he founded our nation. That's why our government wrote to the mayor of Victoria to say, we do be happy to give Sir John A. Macdonald a new home here in Ontario. Probably another statue he might have hidden or would have been destroyed by left-wing activists. On September 3rd, 2020, the statue of John A. Macdonald in Baden, Ontario, was removed and put away to make a gesture of reconciliation with indigenous people. Then, in Regina, Saskatchewan, after several cases of vandalism in 2018, City Council voted to temporarily remove the John A. McDonald statue from Victoria Park on April 13, 2021. On June 1st, 2021, the statue in Charlottetown on Prince Edward Island was quickly removed following the City Council agreement. On June 8th of that year, the statue in Pictown, Ontario, was removed. Returning to Kingstown, where John A. Macdonald spent most of his life, on June 18, 2021, his statue was finally voluntarily removed by the City Council. On August 14, 2021, in Hamilton, Ontario, a demonstration was held at Gore Park, where several Black Lives Matter activists decided to overthrow the statue of John C. McDonald to show opposition to the city 
from their decision not to remove the statue the 8th of July before. Since Manitoba and Alberta have no statue of John A. Macdonald in Winnipeg, at the demonstration called Every Child Matter, two statues of Queen Victoria were attacked. The main statue of Queen Victoria was overturned, vandalized, and its head removed from the Winnipeg Provincial Assembly on Canada Day 2021. In total, two statues are still standing, those of Ottawa. One is at the Parliament Hill and the other at the Ottawa Airport. Mayor Jim Watson made it clear that he would not remove the statue and a blank was added to mention the good and the bad deed done by Sir John Macdonald. Eleven st statues and only two are still visible. Despite politicians speaking out against these acts of vandalism and promising the resettlement of other statues, nothing seems to be happening. Is it cowardice? Is it fear or reprisal? No one seems to have been imprisoned or punished for anything that happened. I wonder what people in Montreal think should we reinstate this statue despite everything? It means to represent a part of our history as a Canadian, whether it's bad or good. It doesn't fade away, so why erase it from our territory? Let's check it out. Do you think that we should put back the statue of John A. Macdonald where it was? No, that guy. He's the the drunk prime minister, right? It was the fa uh, first prime minister of Canada. The drunk prime minister of Canada, right? <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know that. that John McDonald. No, it's just, I don't think it should, there's going to be too much cleaning here. They put it back, they're going to paint it again and, yeah. So you think it's because it will have some vandalism afterwards? Yeah, yeah. I don't like that in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, we can try to change for a different future and maybe acknowledge the past of why he might have not been the best but was still our prime minister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I see it. No, on l'a Pourquoi? Bah parce que le le regard sur l'histoire évolue et donc le le contexte évolue et l'environnement évolue et j'accepte qu'on passe à autre chose. Et je pense en général que ce serait mieux de laisser les statues comme elles sont. Ensuite, si les gens expriment leur mécontentement par rapport à ces statuts, je pense peut-être qu'il y a passé un vote à propos de les enlever, ce serait une meilleure idée que juste les enlever sans demander à personne. If he's going to make a lot of people unhappy, I think maybe he doesn't need a statue. <laughs> S'il faut qu'on ôte tous les gens, si on fait quelque chose de pas correct, on disparaîtra nous aussi, hein? As you know, we want to cover everything that is happening and we need to move around. So now I'm in Montreal, sometime I'm in Quebec. So if you want to help us, go and chip in generously at rebelfieldreport.com so we can continue to do our journalism here on the ground in the field. Thanks.